I saw the camera turn off. Welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Mia. And I'm Lacey. It's Monday, May 23rd. Yesterday in history, in 1843, the first major wagon train headed out on the Oregon Trail. A thousand men and women and children climbed aboard their wagons and headed out from Elm Grove, Missouri. Despite facing mostly natural threats like river crossings and, of course, dis diseases like dysentery, the great majority of the settlers made it to the land we call home. Let's get to today's announcements. Let's start today with some state tournament results. We'll go to Tennis First, who competed in Portland this weekend. Congratulations to Cindy Casaro and Rachel Lester, who played awesome and took home third place in state, beating the number two seed in the process. Great job, girls. For the boys, Walter Gates faced a tough draw, and Austin Allen worked his way to the Consolation semifinals. The doubles team of Soren Stancliffe and Riley Heron played crazy competitive matches, ultimately falling four to six, four to six in the first and six to eight in the consolation. So it was a ton of fun and was a great way to end their fantastic season. Great job, Ravens. Meanwhile, track and field was just down the I-5 corridor in Eugene at Hayward Field. First up is Zoe Nunes, who took first in the javelin, winning the state title. Kinsey Galt took third in the 100 as well. For the boys, standouts include Finn and Anne Spatch took second in the amazing 800 race, where nearly every runner PR'd and the race was decided by fractions of a second. Finn also took fourth in the 1500. Jeremiah Schwartz took, the, took second in the 400 and was part of the four by one team that took fourth as well. Congratulations to all the Ravens who competed. Tonight is the night. Come to the informational parent meeting tonight for the International Studies Program to learn about your opportunity to travel to Austria, Germany, Switzerland during spring break next year. Join us at 6 p.m. in the RVHS Skybox to learn about the trip, its costs, fundraising, and how you can be enrolled. There is a $200 bonus for those that enroll prior to the end of May. Bring your friends and bring a parent. See you there. Seniors, graduation is super close and they've raised a bunch of money for the senior party after the ceremony. The party starts at 10 p.m. and runs all the way until 4 a.m. and includes all kinds of activities, including axe throwing and bull riding, plus plenty of food. Not to mention the opportunity to win Yeti coolers, refrigerators, and laptops. But listen up, we need you to RSVP for this event. You should have received an email under senior meeting number three. Please RSVP today. Calling all design, engineering, computer science, and technology students. The OSU Expo is an awesome event at Oregon State that includes a full campus tour, Robopalooza, and of course the incredible design expo. If you wanna go on this free trip, then you will need to pick up a registration form at Mr. O'Neill's ASAP. The trip is on Friday, June 3rd, and the bus will leave at 6.45 a.m. and return around 7. The spaces are filling fast, and this is the first come, first serve type of trip. So see Mr. O'Neill in the room A137 today. And that's our show for today. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash review. <laughs> slash review ravens. I'm Lacey. And I'm Mia. Have an epic day, stay safe, and stay classy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs>